did was, you know, we, we were we were we exhausted this up till this week. We're not going to see all defensive players talking to very good today. You know, they 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 you know, in all honesty, they came to the great game because you get certain wolves. <laughs> and then so all the injuries that they were going through and so they're, they're not healthy right now. Um, you know, and so you know, that kind of stuff. But from from our perspective, from what we did and how we executed, I thought we were, you know, one hundred and eighty degrees from where we were the other day. Otto had quite an eventful game. He gets to start. He's gone in 30 seconds. Gets him out. All right. Finishes 15 and 6. Do you uh, elaborate on his play? Uh, it was it was it that long? 30 seconds. One possession. 34. 34 seconds. Uh, I mean, I thought Otto was good. I thought everyone. Uh, you know, it, it was. The team effort today, and if you look at the scoring, you look at the rebounding also, you know, I thought everyone came to play. I thought the guys did a good job, you know, piggybacking off of the first response. I think they did just a very good job of protecting each other and having each other's back and supporting each other uh, at the defensive end. And, and you know, like Otto, you know, got some, some, some shots right there in the middle there, and he, he makes that shot almost all the time. Did you get a problem with the elbow that Otto got? Can a coach say that they don't have a problem with their player getting elbowed in the face? Did he have stitches? No. Was pick and roll defense? Okay. Was pick and roll defense a focus of yours this before this game, given what happened up to now? Uh, yes and no. Meaning that they they are good at that. You know, uh, particularly when the leaks in the game. You know, they go through. He's so dangerous coming off that, trying to score or pass. Uh, and so you know, every year in, year out, when you play them, you have to be good at pick and roll defense. Um, and I think where we were pretty good today, where you, I think you've heard me say this a couple other games, I think it's easy when you start talking about on-ball defense, just talk about the guy who's guarding the ball and the guy who's guarding the guy setting the screen. But you, we were pretty effective with the other three guys supporting those two. But you have to be good against that against them because they're so good at that offensively. Can you talk about Starks? Why you chose to start harder over him? I just want to just want to start auto and not play Starks. Did it have anything to do with the incident at the end of the season all game where you guys were uh, at that work with the screen? I just decided to start auto and not play Starks. Is Starks healthy? Yep. Will he play next game? We'll see. Can you talk about the, uh, I guess, the, that one possession where you guys had about four offensive rebounds there? That seemed to kind of help put the game back. In your favor to down the stretch, I think Henry made a couple of big rebounds in there. You guys, there seemed to be a lot of effort in there, and then yeah, I, I, honestly, standing here, I don't remember that, that that sequence. But but the second part of your question, I think exactly there was a lot of effort tonight going after the ball. Henry, in particular, with several plays where you know not just the rebounds where you're standing under the basket and you get them, but you see him come running in from the perimeter to get to either get the ball or keep it alive, and someone else running down, ran it down. Um, and we have to do that. He has to do that. Everyone else has to do that. Continue to do that. I should say. John, how's the Big East evolves and changes? Has this game going to remain one of the big rivalries for you guys and for the conference? Do you think? I think so, uh, just because of the history that that is that, that Georgetown and Villanova have the, the, the significant history that these two schools have as it relates to each other, as it relates to the league. So, um, you know, I think as long as we're both still here, this without a doubt we remain. Big, a big game for, for the players, for the fans, for both institutions. Is that helped, do you think, by the fact that they're not 1A football schools? When we get out on the court, we're not thinking about football. Uh, I think it's just, it's just because of, of our history, and, and, and both programs have been pretty good down for the years. I don't think when you talk about what happens out there, I don't think in football, no one's thinking about that. How important was auto shot at the end of the first half that kind of stopped the bleeding? End of the first half, like I want to say, like the last X amount of minutes. I don't remember what. You know, we had some guys in foul trouble. Uh, we had a younger group on the court that looked like a younger group on the court. Um, you know, it was during that stretch where I think, and I haven't looked at the, the, the game timeline, but I feel like, you know, Cheeks got open for a couple threes at that point at the defensive end. At the offensive end, we were just standing around. Um, you know, and I think as a group, they were out there, you know, like a drunken sailor, and they were, you know, just trying to think too much instead of just playing. 
teach young players. That's the phrase Coach Carrillo. That's the Pete Carrillo phrise I How hard is it to get young players to focus on the little things, like running out on on shooters, uh, getting back on defense, looking at time, uh, distance and uh, I mean time situation. How hard is it to coach young players with no previous city, big East experience to do that? Sometimes it's hard because Coach Holt uh, understand that. And, I, and I, I, what you're saying is I think this group, for the most part, has been decent. It's pretty good at it. It's, it's understanding the little things add up, you know, that every every possession is important. You can have a bad series in the first half that will affect whether you win. You cannot contest. You cannot get a deflection. You cannot put your hands up. And in the course of the game, you know, it's easy to look at the baskets that go in or don't go in. But the winning and losing is lost. A lot of times in the details, and so uh, I think that this group, for the most part, has been good at the details. And when we haven't been, we've looked like we did the other day. You're coming down to your last few regular season games, which means for your seniors, it's their last couple of games, you know, in a Georgetown uniform. And uh, Jay said that he thinks Jason Clark's one of the best players in the league. Um, can you reflect on Jason and how much he's been to this team? Well, I don't want to do that, uh, and I'll say that because one, I agree with Jay. Jason, without a doubt, is one of the better players in this league, uh, just in, in every aspect. But it's still, you know, I, we need to now go break down, dissect. You know, we, we were fortunate to come out of here with, with uh, you know, a 21 point win, but we made some mistakes that we can tighten up. Um, and then we have a quick turnaround getting ready for a very tough team on Monday. And so I don't want to stop and reflect on what Jason and Henry have done right now. They don't need to be reflecting on it. They need to start reflecting on Notre Dame. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> Questions for the players? Uh, I don't think you just talk about that, that first play when you, when you got elbowed. What happened? Um, I really don't remember. Uh, just remember just you know, going after the ball and just getting hit out of nowhere. Were you bleeding from your lip or inside? Um, just. Does that does that fire you up? Is that kind of like you're sitting on the bench? Are you kind of you know itching to get back out there? Or are you, were you still trying to kind of get your bearings? I mean, yeah, I was fired up. And so were my teammates. Uh, I think they kind of read my mind. You know, and started picking up. You know. And that was a pretty resilient effort. I mean, it like you had a lot of. I mean, there was like a lot of fire out there. Were you were pretty put out there. Got along with you. Got a little more uh, spark on you. Did that some of these times? I mean, I just try to come out and play with energy all the time. You know. Play together with my team, you know, just give a lot of effort. You know, that shot, that we talked about after they get a run to cut down to 40, that shot, and the purpose of the game that you uh, hit right in front of the rim that time. So, um, I just remember my teammate was saying, like, the clock. And I said, I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> and, I said, and the clock was running down. So